I get nothing from Gerald now, so he's just going to go, hello, <laughs> it's Tamara. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. It's 7 o'clock-ish, yeah, in one minute. I'm just sitting here, literally, flipping through the catalog, trying to figure out what we're doing tonight. I might have been at the post office like 17 minutes ago. I have nothing planned. Not a thing. No. You know me. That's how I roll. I'm looking for a sample that I love. Or some technique or something. I don't know. I'm looking for some inspiration. Because <laughs> I got nothing. Hi, Wendy. I kind of like this card. I don't know why. I really like the simplicity of this card. Wendy, anything in the catalog you want to see me make? Hi, Teresa. I don't know. Let's flip through the calendar. A calendar? Catalog, even. Let's flip through here. Start me if you see anything you like. There's Janet. Hey, Kim. Kim Sharp. Where are you from, Kim? No, not really, she says. You know it all, right? <laughs> I, um, I honestly haven't spent a whole lot of time really studying the catalog, so... I just did a quick pass through just like a couple seconds ago. I thought, oh, this, maybe this is where I got the inspiration for last night. I don't know. Here I thought it was a Tamara original, but that must have been playing in my brain. Look, they stamped the quadrants and cut them out. And I love how they put the leaves on top of it to really kind of pull it together that much more. So why don't we case the front? Oh, we could do that, Teresa. That's a great idea. I've seen a few people do that. Yeah, we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Hi, Wendy and Wendy Marshall, now that she's in, uh, she had a request too on showing her how to do something that she saw one of the artisans do. And maybe we'll have a little play. Um, I, yeah, it's just going to be a chill night. I just Maybe I want to put together the little pocket envelope and see how that works. Hi, Christine McKay. How are you? Um, here are some of the tags that I showed you last night. Like I'm just, just doing a little flip through. And of course the card, I'm like, yeah, I don't have this set yet. Yet being the operative word. Hi Hope, how are you? I haven't talked to you in ages. How are things out in Carolina, North Carolina, South Carolina, whatever Carolina you're in. I actually, I'm a little bit mad at Allison Akamitsu because I thought this suite was quite horrific. I'm like, oh no, 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 that no. No, no, I don't like it. And then I saw the cutest little butterfly she made with it. Guess what's on its way to me? Mm -hmm. There's Melanie. Hello. Hi, Jen. How is Rebecca? Well, Rebecca's over on the couch and she is on video games. So I think, she, well, she was feeling better. But on last report, she said she felt quite nauseous. Now, I'm thinking that's because she took some other meds with the meds. And so she's got quite the cocktail going on in her stomach right now. And so she's feeling kind of barfy. So I am telling her to, um, yeah, hold back with everything you can. Hold back, honey. Don't throw up. I don't, we don't want that to happen. So yeah, but overall she did well. Um, we did okay through the night. I can't believe, well, okay. I might've had like two cups of coffee and two fizz sticks today. I'm, I'm running on caffeine and, um, uh, ginseng. Like I should be I should be sleeping. I really should. Uh, we were up three times in the night, right, to take our meds. But yeah, all, all in all, she's doing well. Cold wash cloth in the throat, says Hope. Mm-hmm. Almost over. She'll be better tomorrow. Well, hopefully, Teresa. I don't know. I still have her, I have her loaded up on, on the lots of drugs. So then we get to deal with the aftermath of, you know, what the, um, what the painkillers do to you. So, um, yeah, still have to be really, really careful. You know, can't have the seeds or anything, like any berries with the seeds or any of the the bread with the seeds for months, nothing crunchy, all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we're getting there, but on the throat for nausea, cold, I see. And I've heard, um, I know from motion sickness, if you put, I put like a cold water bottle here. Um, anyway, hope says cold compress, like on the throat that will help the nausea. So if you feel like you're going to hurl, do it. I'm so glad. No, I can't Tracy. Tracy. <laughs> Tracy knows me so well. I love that you listen to me, Tracy, because when I was telling Tracy how much I dislike this butterfly set, I'm like, what the heck kind of sentiment is, I'm glad you exist. Who says that to anybody ever? I'm glad you exist. I'm glad you exist. Wow. That just comes off really cold. So please don't ever, don't ever send me a card that says, I'm so glad you exist. It's just, it's so clinical. So glad you exist. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we're just going to have a little flip through and I'm just going to stop at something. We'll do a few little things and pieces. Okay. So 
Anybody else do this? Any other demonstrators out there do this? So this set I didn't get last catalog. I'm like, what the heck is this set? Like I just flipped through and went, no, yuck, ick. And then when I saw it was carrying over to this catalog, I bought it before the price and the shipping went up. <laughs> I'm like, so now I own this. Look what they did here. I was thinking, I need to show you guys this technique. I want to do this technique. So they stamped, look, like, look what they did here. They stamped the stamps in the classic white ink and then they took a pin and they punched holes to make it look like it was sewn on with a sewing machine but it's not i love that so i wanted to try that oh look at all the comments i missed these okay um oh nikki that's so deep but do we exist <laughs> work for people who are adopted i'm so glad you exist oh i guess okay donna thank you for perspective I still don't think it gives, it doesn't give me a warm fuzzy though. If some, even if I was adopted, so glad you, well, I don't know. Okay. Maybe, maybe. All right. Oh no, Melanie. No. <laughs> All right. I didn't get, did anybody get the elephant set? I have mixed feelings on the elephant. I like his head. I don't like his body. It makes me very uncomfortable. I don't know why the proportions aren't right for me. I cannot own him yet. I, I don't know. I can't. I don't own the squirrels. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. The pig. This. Oh, I love this card. I was going to make this card. And I went, no, you know what? I think that card is going to be made from a class. We're doing this class sometime in July. And I love that card. Hi, Nancy. You got the, you got the elephants? Really? Hey, Sheila. Long time no see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Never say never. You know me. I say I don't like, like even these ones, this one I was like, oh, a pot of geraniums. Yeah, no. And then I saw a card with them and I went, oh, I'm going to own geraniums now. Good Lord. I have issues. I have so many issues. This card I want to make. I like this card. You always give me a reason to smile. Maybe we'll make that tonight. I don't know. We will case the catalog front. Now, I don't know. Let's just take a little sip, look, see if things. So I could show you some show and tell. I mean, I've got an awful lot of this catalog in my cave. An awful, awful, awful lot. <sighs> I don't have those, but I want them. The man set. Divine, divine. Love it, love it, love it. I have this set too, and I loved it. Still haven't inked it up yet. That's going to happen soon. This one too. Have, well, I inked it, but I didn't like what I made with it. So I've moved on. Maybe I should run things through the embossing folder and see what grabs me there. Mm-hmm. Is this exciting, just watching me flip through a catalog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need some inspiration. It might just be show and tell because I'm not, I'm not coming up with a whole lot. But maybe we'll make this card. I don't know. I like this one. I'm sure that way with the teacup too. Yeah, I know. I got the teacup one and I, did, I wasn't going to. But now I'm glad I did. So far. Hard time with work and stepping up work balance. Yeah, Sheila. Well, it must be because I haven't seen you in forever. The elephant is the mascot for your red hat group. Yes, I knew that, Donna, because you were looking for that. Um, it was like, I want to say Thailand, something to do with Thailand. I think they, when the Stampin' Up! trip was to Thailand, I think that was the year that there was that elephant stamp that you were looking for. You're not buying anything in the men's section, hey, Teresa? Well, if you have no men to give it to, then yeah, that would that would not make sense to uh, to get that set. This one, I have to do, oh, good Lord, it's 17. I have three days to do something amazing with this bundle. It shouldn't be hard to do. I might have to look at this one a little closer tonight. Look at what they've done here. So this card, they, I don't know what they did. <laughs> I'll come to some decisions soon at 708. Uh, what y'all do today? Yeah, I know you found it. I know, Donna. Um. something that's okay so this this set this uh alphabet bundle okay let's focus i was like yeah i don't need another alphabet set anytime soon i'm thinking so i don't own it yet being the operative word are you gonna focus on me or what okay so i thought but oh i like the punch so i got the punch can i okay are you gonna focus what the heck you guys there we go so i gotta show you the punch it is not what i expected this is how big it is i'm expecting it to be this big it is not. It is this big. It's so tiny. I'm like, what? seriously? 
what am I going to do with this? And then I went, yeah, I probably should have figured out that it was that small. Because look at how small it is. It's just going to punch out the H and the other. Like, oh, it's so small. Oh. Oh, Sheila, I know. It's hard. I don't know how people with, with, with day jobs do this gig, I tell you. It's hard. I know. Let's do this card. I love this card. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. Let's do this one. Look at this card. Also, look at this one. I bought this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da. Okay. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, Teresa wants to case the catalog on the front of here. And Wendy Marshall wanted me to show her how the artisans did something. So let's get some paper to Marilyn. Just enough is enough here. Let's get, let's get to work. I got so much done today, you guys. So much done. Rebecca slept most of the morning, and so I got a lot of things done. I got all my paper shares out, all my ribbon shares out, all the calendars that I ordered for people out. I just got back to the mailbox. Um, cards I mailed out. It was a full-on, I, I did paperwork and balanced, oh, like so much paperwork. Uh, this job, there's so little of it happens right here. Most of it happens at the computer and or at the post office. <gasps> Incompetence. Can we just talk about incompetence for a minute? Okay, let's just chat about a little bit of incompetence. I don't understand. Like, okay, everybody is human and we make mistakes, but oh my God, I go to the post office and I'm mailing a bunch of stuff. And so I've got a bunch of the eight and a half by 11, no, the, I don't know, nine by 11 big envelopes. And I put them down and I said, okay, like I need postage. I need to know how much it is because I'm charging people accordingly. And anyway, she says, yeah, they'll all just be over oversized. Like, and she puts a dollar 94 on all of them. And I looked at her, I said, well, this one's a lot heavier. I said, the weight matters, doesn't it? She says, no. It was a rhetorical question because I know that the weight matters. Anyway, so she says, no, they're all just oversized $1.94. And then I'm looking at her. So then she looks at her little chart and she does some things. She's like, oh, that's four i I'm like, lady, this is time sensitive stuff. I'm trying to get my stuff to my people for the classes. And I'm like, you were just going to put it through at $1.94. It was going to come back to me. Then I'd have to pay more. Ah, incompetence, incompetence. Ah, anyway. Okay. That's my little rant for today. Okay. I know it is time, right, Jennifer? Uh, I had your face dermin needled. Oh. Oh. Huh. Donna, interesting. I've seen that. I've heard about it. Wow. Okay. Can't craft until the weekend. Something I have baking orders. Oh. Yeah, you're back in the office now, right, Mary? How do you feel about that? Because, Mary, you were, like, for a while there, I thought, oh, well, you miss working because you're in the home. Stung but manageable. Yeah. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Hey, Christine, did you get my message? I've got your calendars are here. I digress. Okay, so um, back to Wendy. Oh, Lord. Okay, the downside of working at my desk upstairs is it does a number on my back. Okay, remind me the card that I wanted to. All right, so why don't we do some of the in-color stuff? Let's grab our... Oh, have you guys seen these papers? Squirrel. These are glittery, shiny, glimmery. It's like dazzling diamonds is built right into them. Oh, ooh, pretty. We will do these. We will use these. What do you think? Oh, but I love these colors too. It could be interesting to see if I can focus. I'm glad I'm back in the building. I don't have to smell the stink. But you don't only smell it at home. Surely, Mary. Didn't we establish that was in your sinuses or something? I'm a brave one, Wendy. No, Dawn is brave, right? For needles, yes. Not how do you... You don't know how to use what? Um, oh, supposed to remove... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do, do, do... Supposed to move wrinkles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be leaving. Okay, thanks, Christine. Mm -hmm. You're not sure how to use what, Teresa? Tell me more. Tell me more. All right. So do we want to use glittery stuff or this stuff? Vote now. While I find a Kleenex. Um, let's see. Why don't we do this? Let's do these papers. One, two. I'm going to get one of every color. Of course, Teresa, because I grabbed the other ones. <laughs> one, two. Not plaid. Okay, Wendy. I'm thinking these flowery ones. Sparkles is Donna. I can do both. 
I have lots of everything, so, you know, where's my red paper? Where's the rest of it? Where's the other side? I'm missing a pattern. Doo -doo -doo. Where are you? Glittery. All right, everybody. Okay, you wait, because I can't find the other. Where's the red? Where's all my red? Where are you? Um, okay. I don't know. I'm missing a bunch of designer paper. Okay, well, you wanted glittery, so let's use glittery. You don't even know what I'm trying to do anyway. <laughs> Wendy does. Wendy knows. It's her idea. Okay, so how should I do this? I am going to... Do, do, do. Wendy saw a sample where it was like all ombre strips in different colors, and then it was um, in a shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off strips of about, oh, I don't know, one and a half inch in all the different colors. So you go one and a half inch. This is a great way to use up scrap. Um, but of course I'm going to uh, make more scrap. Why not? Two. Do, do, do. Smelling at home. That's very odd, Mary. Very odd. Oh, you don't know how to use the sparkle paper. Is that what you're talking about, um, Teresa? One and a half. They just, they're really great with die cuts. I would just use it to die cut stuff. So the glitter paper is in all of the um, in colors, the 2022, 2024 in colors. One, is that five? One, two, three, four. What am I missing? This one. They look the same, but they're not. Yes, they are. I'm missing one. There it is. Very similar, but not. Okay, one and a half. So this is a great way to use up your scrap, seriously. Okay, now. <laughs> so I kind of want... doing what I want it to do. All right, well, let's try this. Um, maybe I should have made it a whole lot smaller. Let's make them three quarter of an inch now. I'm going to cut them in half. I'm just crafting and you guys are just watching. Like that's just how tonight's going to go. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so I'm not going to my parents tomorrow. I told my mom I needed the day off. She totally understands. I, di I didn't want to leave Rebecca alone all day. Even though, yes, she's 19, and yes, it's not a really big deal, but when I go to my mom's, I go for quite a long time. So so here's what I'm trying to do. It's kind of like the... I really wanted this ombre color, this ombre thing to kind of show up. So I'm going to somehow... Arrange these one, two, three, four, and five. Now, one, two, three, four, five. So, here's what I'm doing, Wendy. I'm just going to attach these all to a layer. Okay. I don't have to be particularly precise because I'm going to then cut uh, cut this up. So just as well because this is crooked. <laughs> it's okay. So again, you'll want to be using your scrap for this, not your expensive glitter paper. Ideally. Okay, fail. I'm trying to get uh, twist. Okay. You want to butt them right up against each other. So now, Wendy, the picture that you sent me, they were on a diagonal. So they've just done this, but they've put the pieces at a diagonal. What we could do here, 
we could do something similar. So uh, let me just see. Hang on, let me roll over here. Oh, to my other dies. All right, so I have extras left over there. Oh, I got more dies here. Look at these new dies. Na, na, na. Let's see what I've got. Beautiful shapes. The one they used, I think. Oh no, it's still current. No, it's not. <laughs> You showed me, the one you showed me, let me just pull up that picture for a second. Do, do, oh, chats, where are you, Wendy? What was the one with the dots? Oh, is that this one? Oh, it is. Look at that. Okay, it's this one. The one they used. Okay. So this comes from the ornate frames, and it is still, oh, this is a new one. It's from the ornate frames. So, what they did, Wendy, is I could, uh, if I would have had a little bit of a bigger piece, they've just done exactly what I did, um, but theirs is cut like this. So if I had done this on a longer piece, it would have been a lot nicer. So just imagine it like this, and then they've cut it out on an angle. And I really kind of like that. So you know what I'm going to do? It's more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. I am going to tape these two pieces together and I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Why not? Anything goes. Okay, so, and now it's taped to my desk. That's just super swell, Tamara. There we go. Uh, let's repeat the pattern. So this is the dark one. This way. I didn't obviously think this through very well before I started. So if I want it on the angle like that, there, there we go. So now I'm going to run this through. Once I unstick it from stuff. Okay, you need to get a grip, girl. Where's my embossing buddy poofy thing? Let's go like this. Get some of that stick off there. All right, I'm gonna run this through my cut emboss machine. If I have any more. I haven't even started and I've run out of room. I'm gonna cut this off. Oh lord, I'm such a bomb machine. All right, so I'm gonna, go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Now you all know I like to encourage you to put your dies through at an angle anyway, so it doesn't put so much pressure on your dies and or on your rollers. So you wanna put it through like this anyway, right? At best of times on an angle. If you wanted it straight up and down, that's fine, but then you should be turning your paper. So it's gonna be going through like this on an angle. Much easier on your dies, much easier on your machine. You've seen that trick from me before. Okay, so we're going to make this go through like this. Or. Uh, which way was it? It was this way. Not that it really matters. Let's go this way. Okay, now um, it's not ideal because it's not going to go through my machine because it's too wide. So I'm going to cut that off. Hang on, hang on. It's really not that complicated, you guys. It's just me. I just have to make sure that this is going to go through the machine. Because it was too long, right? Okay, so now we're going to go like this. We're going to run it through the machine like this. Mm -mm -mm. Just turn the paper so it fits. Well, no. I want this pattern, though. Hi, Shelly. I wanted it to be really at an angle like this. So it was too long this way. Right? You picking up what I'm laying down? Just run it through tomorrow. All right, so here we go. Mm -mm. Now it's going to be tight because it's glimmer paper and, uh, and the, um, the, the basic white 
And there are all these little intricate dots. Okay, so I'm going through a bunch of times. And did I seriously just put that through straight after just telling you not to? Oh my God, I really needed to go through. <sighs> An angle. And remember that tape that was on the back? Yeah, it's now stuck to my plate. And I should really just go to bed, honestly. Okay, so you can see it hasn't cut all the way through. I'm going to do this again. Actually, this part should tear off. But the glimmer paper, oh, you know what I should have done? Okay, here's what I should have done before I taped it down, you guys. When it comes to using this glimmer paper, it's extra thick. So if you get your nails in there, you can peel off this waxy backing. Why don't you guys stop me before I do these things? You know. Tamara. So you should have, I should have peeled this to make it thinner. Taken some of this waxy paper off. But anyway, I didn't. Because... All right, now I'm going to do this through again. I guess I shouldn't have done the uh, glitter paper. Okay, we're going to go through at an angle this time, like I told you to. And hope that... Oh, it's not lined up. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Like this. Okay. Oh. All right, let's try this again. There, you see, this is a little bit easier to go through. You saw how I was fighting before. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Deb, I had mail. I had messaged you yesterday. Too late. I mailed you your catalogs. So check your mail in a few days. We'll see if it gets there, given the incompetence of my mail lady. Okay, we're going to make this work. It kills me. I figured, you know what, Debbie? I figured that it's cheaper to spend like a buck ninety-four on postage than fill to um, spend gas money getting here. So I mailed it. Okay, there we go. Now, the only thing I don't love is that these little holes didn't poke through. So, you know what I'm going to do now. I would sit here and I would poke through these holes. But this is the image <laughs> that you're looking for, Wendy. And that is how they did it. So, then this is a piece. Yeah, you know I can't live with that. Without the holes. You know I can't. Hey, you know what I should do? Here. Here's what I'm going to do. Unless I taped it really... I could just trim off this little bit of white. And then you can see the holes poking through. But anyway, you don't need to watch me fight with this for the next four hours. But you see what, I, what I'm doing there? Like, if this was just snipped off. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think the caffeine is wearing off, you guys. There we go. Okay, but so you get the idea. And that's how they did it. Gotta run. I'll catch the replay. Okay, thanks, Melanie. See you later. Oh, it's okay. No, no, no. It's all good, Wendy. It's um, it is me. It is me tonight. I'm just uh, I'm just lagging. Right. It's been a week. All good. All good. Really pretty. So you can use that. Here's the here's the here's the photograph that um. Wendy had sent me of one of the um, projects. So that's that's how they did that. They used designer paper and it would be thinner and easier to use. So yeah, that's how that is done. Okay, instead of holding on to the top of your machine, I find I hold on to the middle of the handle. Do you? Okay, maybe I'll try that. All right, thanks. Um, yeah, we'll just throw out any old tips that y'all have. Okay, so that is that. Now, Teresa says, let's case the front of the catalog. Okay, if I can find my catalog, we can do that. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. So this is the something or other Hughes paper. This one. Do, do, do. Hughes of happiness. And <clears throat> this is a sheet of designer paper from, oh, what's going on here? This oh, is the designer paper for that suite of products. Are you nauseous yet? Why is this crooked? That's straight. This is crooked. There we go. Okay. All right. So this is a sheet from here. Let's see if I can find it. That is that sheet, but in different color. The, I cut mine into six by six. So it was this sheet. I could use the big one. 
Let's see. Let's see what pattern this one is. I, uh, so this is my leftover from my paper share so that I get a part of paper share too. Where is it? This sheet. Oh, there's this sheet. That's the wrong colors. There it is. I see it. There we go. Right there. Ta-da. Really? So, okay. Chop off that piece. Everybody back in the pool. Now, let's start this off with a piece of basic white. Eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. There we go. Even the stitch rectangles might be easier with that. Uh, 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 just might be easier with a different... Absolutely. Yeah, I was thinking the deckled one too, but um, I wanted to, to show the exact project that Wendy had looked at. But absolutely, it's because it's intricate that that's a bit of a nightmare. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's my backwards way of saying you're right. Okay, so let's get out our paper trimmer and I'm going to try to make it look exactly. So I'm thinking they've cut it into four. Everybody out. Everybody out. So if this was cut at four inches, that's... Hmm, orange and then sure I'll just cut it at four and we'll get what we get I'm not gonna waste too much paper Stampin' Up might have unlimited supplies but I don't so it's not exact oh did I seriously just do that oh my god okay yeah somebody stop me I was uh, mm -hmm. okay what I needed to do was <laughs> La la la. Four and a quarter. Don't do as I'm doing. Okay. I don't think I should be operating a motor vehicle at this point. And then this was here, right? No, this was over here. Uh-huh. So then that's going to be holy crow. <laughs> la la la. Four and a quarter. Okay. I'm just wasting paper now. That's fine. Whatever. And then this one. La la la. Four and a quarter. Oh my Goodness. Okay, so what I should have done was this, and so if that's in the middle, and then that's going to have to be approximately, telephone, how much is this? Let's go with, uh, oh, let's cut an inch off, because why not? Yeah, interesting, just scale down the white, yeah, no, you know me better than that idea and normal people would but hey I could buy more paper right here's what we meant to do and then I'll trim it accordingly it's fine it's fine it's only paper it does in fact grow on trees so this is gonna go in the middle ish like sure close enough that. So go here. If I wouldn't have cut it wrong, we'll cover up the boo boos with flowers. That's fine. And then this one. Oh, good. Oops, that one's peeking. Oh well. We'll fix that too. Yeah. All right. Let's fix this up. Apparently, I'm going to do everything the hard way today. Why not? Why not? Okay. So there and there and there. And then this. I can't deal with that. I'm going to have to trim that off a little bit. And now you know this other side is going to be a little bit too long. So we're going to do that on the same side over here. Why is this from? Mm -hmm. Do I know about this dye? And do I own this dye? Who knows what dye this is? Mm -hmm. 
I bet I don't have it. Maybe I do. I bought most of them, so let's just see. So when I case the catalog, this is exactly what I do. I'm like, oh, where is that die? Where? How do we get that look? And if you know, feel free to throw it in the comments. It'll save us all a whole lot of time. Do do. Ha! Blossoming happiness. Okay. Who knew? There it is. There it is. It is, Donna. You're so smart. Look at that. Teresa's smart too. You guys, you're the best. Okay, so let's get back to my car. Stop putting the catalog away because I kind of need a picture. All right, so this, again, oh, look, it's just almost to scale, you guys. So I can just go like this and go, okay, this layer is approximately two and three quarters by four. Two and three quarters by four. So let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Two and three quarters. By four. Let's see how that looks. Might be bigger than that. Oh no, that's not big enough. I'm thinking it needs to be yeah, by four and a quarter. Okay, this part. So something like that, a little bit shorter. Titch off, that is, yeah, four and a quarter. Like that. Okay, like that. So we're going to run this through the, um, through the machine. Or are we? Oh, okay. Wow, maybe I should. Oh. Huh, so... I have to investigate how this works. Hang on. I'm going to run it through the machine and see where we're at to see where I'm going to put that edge. If I can find my... Uh, engage brain. I don't know. Okay. So. <sighs> through it, went through like this, and this is how it cut. All right, so that's... Oh, interesting. So this has to go right along the edge. All right, so we're going to do this right along the edge. Let's see what we come up with. Love when they put... I know! It's crazy awesome, Nikki. They don't often I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so I'm going to try to put this along the edge of my cardstock. And it wants to move. So if you have the magnetic plate, that would work. Nicely. But my plates are fairly flat, so oh, I moved it. Hang on. Bear with me. Nothing's happening at breakneck breakneck speed tonight, obviously. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Push it through. go. All right. We got that. Now. Now we need some greenery. What is this? Okay. Uh, yes. Easy layer size. Yeah. You can get eight from a sheet of cardstock. Yep. Bought the entire suite. Yep. Oh, awesome, Wendy. Yeah, they, I mean it has it has their place, obviously, um, Teresa. I um, I just haven't really had a need like it's you know it's oh, I don't. it's a nice it's not a must. All right, so this they've done in. I'm gonna go ahead and say that is the I don't know if it's parakeet or granny on this one. I'm th thinking it looks more granny than the parakeet, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go granny. And I should use my paper piercing mat, but I'm not going to. It's not such a big image. Like, I'm going to get a clear enough image because the desk is good. Uh, oh, and they use this one. Okay. Got to do it like they did it. So I use this little guy. I hear the cat running around upstairs. Okay, so this one's going to go. You still there, Rebecca? How do you feel? Not good? 
Mm. Did you get some cold, a cold cloth? Okay, so we've got the leaves. Now we just need to get the flowers. Fla the flowers, and those I do believe are cut right out of the designer paper because nobody can stamp a flower that nice. So let's look and see which flowers they use. They use this pink one and the yellow one I might not have. I might have given that away in my paper share. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Oh, I do have, there we go. All right, so. And they've also cut out these leaves. So that's gonna fit there. And here they've got this one too. Oh, awesomeness. And then this is going to cut out these, this one. Okay, awesome. How easy is this? So I should bring in my little cut machine and then you can see it a little bit easier. Eh, it's a little bit over there on the floor. Let's just do this. All right, clear space. Clutter. Oh, there's, there it is. I was looking for this. <laughs> okay. All right, this is also what my Donna ruler is good for. Getting rid of the scraps off my cutting plates. All right, so. Let's, uh, so can you see what I'm doing here? So I'm gonna twist until it all lines up right there. Then I've probably lost the other dies. Here we go, here's the leaves over here. Can I? Like I say, you can see my cutting plates are fairly flat, so I really don't need the magnetic plate. Unless I bump it. Like that. I love when they have dies that work with the paper. Makes you look like a rock star. Slap it down, push through. I think I'm going to take a day with some TV and just fussy cut all those leaves. Yep, die cutting is more effort in this case. Sometimes, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've done that in the past too. If it's an easy shape like this, yeah. Just sit there with a movie and... Okay, I'm going to lose these, so I'm going to put them over here. And then I need the... Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, the other one was... There's a yellow one and a pink one. Okay, so I got the yellow one. And the pink one. There we go. Ah, itchy nose. Okay, pink one. There we go. Um, is anybody coming to my last spot on Saturday morning? If you want to come to our rainbow class, if you're in Edmonton, if you want to come for just the class, you can come. Uh, for $35, if you want to make the four cards, let me show you this, the four cards and the bucket and the seeds. Um, what did I just say? $35 or four, what did, literally, what did I just say? $35 or $40? If you want to come, there's one spot left, $35. Just come. I've got one spot left. Who wants it? I'm cutting anyway, so I might as well have oh, full house. Okay, I think we're done here. Well, that's in my garage, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if I put this book away one more time, where did I put the book? Jeez, I, honestly, you guys. Okay, let's focus here. All right, so we got this. That's up on dimensionals. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. This is going to go down here. This is going to go over here. Then we need, look at, it's going to look exactly the same. Look at me go. Five bucks, Jennifer, go away. 35, thank you, you guys. If you guys want to come. So the other people are paying more, but they get the stamp set to go with it. But there's obviously no time for that. So if uh, if somebody's in the Edmonton area and you want to come hang out in my garage at 10.30 Saturday morning, come. Well, first message me, because I don't want five of you showing up when I only have a spot for one. <laughs> I wish I could come, but I'll be driving to Edmonton Saturday morning. 
Oh, we'll drive earlier and come. <laughs> it is really a pretty one, isn't it, Shelley? I've seen it cased by quite a few people, actually. And it's much easier than Tamara makes it look, honestly. I'm just a bit of a hot mess right now. Um, do I want... Okay, I'll put it straight because they put it straight. It is pretty, right, Rebecca? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to grab my silicone mat and my... There we go. These guys I'm going to put flat. This one's going to go over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to put that there. It's over the edge. I like how it's over the edge because that's a Tamara thing. You know that. Okay. And this one is the peachy one. And he's going to go like this over here and he hangs over this side yeah love that this one is going to tuck under over so too much there and he's going to be covered up by the sentiment so i don't want him too high up like that ah totally twist okay whatever twisted my finger at the wrong minute like that And this is really the best way um, to get your mojo kick-started. Um, like I was saying the other day, when I, when I came back from holidays, I need a little blue dot of dinner, uh, I couldn't make a card to save my life. And this is a great way to do it, is you start by copying something and then, you know, put your own spin on it. Okay, wish you stamp set. Where are you? There you are. Put your own spin on it if you need to. So this one, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine, right here, and that is in the red, whatever that's called. Ah, oh, there goes my back. I'm going to assume it's the sweet sorbet. Now, I need a chunk of white. I've got so many chunks of white, I don't even know what to do with them until I need to find one, right? There are a whole bunch of chunks. So I'm just going to use this chunk and then I'm going to trim it down. Okay. Oh, in different colors. Good idea. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. All right, and if I were my chopper, 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 where's my chopper? There it is. Okay. So this is a little bit, I mean, like I try to get it really precise. I try it a little bit closer to the edge there. And then equidistant from that side. So that is indeed two and a half wide by one and a half, nope, by one and a quarter tall. Nope, by one tall, probably, yes. This is dangerous. Don't do this at home. I'm gonna bring my other chopper for this so I don't lose a finger. I love that this, with this trimmer, you can get really close cuts. So that is indeed one inch by like two and a half. Almost, hey, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. And then that, this uh, uh, yeah, that was up on dimensionals, and this I'm going to do up on dimensionals too if I can find them in there. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the way I like to pop up my sentiments, if you've watched me before, I like to put them over here on the card so that I know. Okay, that was a little bit too high, so that I knew it's not going to be popped up too high. So I'm going to pop those ones up on dimensionals, but this part I'm putting tape on over here because this layer is already on dimensionals. 
So when you go like this, this part's popped up, this part's taped flat. Now they used a bazillion of these gorgeous glittery things. I knew where they're oh, hey. Yep. These are the new glossy dots assortment. So pretty. And they've used one, two, three, four, five. Donna, look, they used five. We know what we're talking about, right, Donna? So. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to go. Oh, Lord. Medium. Small. Medium. Oh, Tracy, we have a Zoom in a few minutes. Good thing I set a reminder. I would have forgotten. Rebecca, 10 minutes till your next meds, hon. Are you still there? I've lost her. Okay. All right, so that's good. There we go. And like so. We did it, you guys. 750 looks exactly like the front, except that I have mine cut here, right? <laughs> So if you're not a spaz, like I am, nailed it. Oh, you only ordered the DSP and the gems. It's really, it's a nice one, um, Jennifer. It's a really nice, a nice bundle. And so like, let's look at this one. Let's run this through, shall we? Let me show you what this looks like. So let's just find some scrap. Let's find a color. Here. So like this is just some scrap I've got. I'm just going to run this through and show you what that looks like. This is really cool. Great background piece. Okay, ready? Uh, little hearts, which will be cut out if you use your little brush. big mess but anyway they should pop out I did. most of them pop out some of them don't look at that these ones are just cut so you could kind of flip them up a bit like this just to give it a little bit of texture more texture you can flip these ones up because they're still attached some but these ones are all out there we go so that's a fun die a good sweet super pretty yep it's a good one it's a good one it's a keeper what else have we got in this little bundle so aside from this piece that I use to make the edging over here there's this one that um our little stitched like that uh, what else have we got um so do you guys know how to read the catalog? Let me just show you. Not everybody knows all these little per okay. This is how things get lost. Not everybody knows how the catalog works. So that, where is it? Oh, it's a wash with beauty. Where are you? Hello? Are you at the very beginning? What is this even called? Happiness abounds. Let me just find it. Good Lord. Happiness abounds. Page 109. So when you look at the catalog, you see how these ones are a light pink? That means they have a coordinating dye. If you see like these ones, so these ones all have coordinating dyes, coordinating dye. They're a bit of a pinkish color coordinating dies so any of that are kind of pink now when it comes to punches they have a different coloring why don't I just look at the beginning and show you because they tell you all this at the beginning of the catalog if you read it I think they used to maybe they don't but they should there's icons and n means new reversible so that was like that sh the the stamp set that, oh, I wanted to make that other card today. Uh, reversible. So this means it's reversible. Uh, see, there we go. This little icon. 
So you can stamp, the front of the stamp looks like this, but if you turn the stamp over, you'll get that image. So that's the reversibles. Distinctive, those are the stamps that look really, really, really detailed. And that icon is distinctive. Mm -hmm. um, like some of our flower ones, uh, they're the distinctive. This one, that's distinctive. So you just get all the different, like the ink, the, the stamp does all the work. I mean, it just makes it look like it's so detailed. Quick and easy, you've got a little um, clock. English and French, you can get them in English and French. Now, well, okay, let's find one that's got a punch. Okay, so this one has the punch. Huh, okay, well, I guess it's just still gray or, or um, creamy color. It has a coordinating punch. They used to have different colors if it was a punch versus a die, but I guess I'm out of touch there. Hi, Doreen. Okay, what else has a punch with it? Here, yeah, I guess, it's, okay, they've just gone with like peach. If it's got a coordinating something, it's in a slightly different color and it tells you this is the guy that has the punch that goes with it or this is the die that can work with that stamp. So it shows you there, this one. Oh, I can't wait to play with this one, you guys. Um, yeah, so I really, really, really wanted to make this card tonight, but it didn't happen. But maybe that's next week's sorted. Because I love it. I'll get there. Wait for it. This one. I bought it just for that card. Love it. Love it so much. But look, here it is. It's 7.56 and my time now is done. Um, so I'm going to sign off on that note. Uh, wow, this was <laughs> this was an interesting night. Sorry, I'm so low energy tonight. Um, this is what a calm Tamara looks like um, as opposed to a Monday Tamara. <laughs> oh, I love that sweet Nikki. That Abigail Rose. I just, it's stunning. The paper, I just love it. It's uh, fantastic. It's a great suite. And look what they've done here. They've stamped They've stamped on the uh, on the ribbon. The whole suite is really, the paper is just divine. I love it. I love it. There's lots I can do. Look at this one. This is, an, okay, this is another technique that I thought was really cool. So they punched all the holes, or they used the dies to cut out the paper, and then they stamped through the holes. So that's pretty cool. And here they've done the same thing. Like they've cut out chunks. They've stamped their own background paper. No, I think that's the designer paper. There's just so much you could do with it. I love it. It's just so gorgeous. Anyway. Ah, I know. I'm not a big flowery girl. You know me, you guys, but I tend to be buying the flowers anyway. But um, anyway, okay, that's it. 7.57. I have a Zoom in five or ten minutes, and I have to go make sure Rebecca's okay and has her meds. Um, aw, thank you, Sheila. Thank you so much. I, uh, I actually feel like I'm really drawn. I Do you guys know, here's a fun fact about Tamara. When Tamara gets stressed and are really, really tired, she loses her eyelashes. So I have about seven eyelashes. <laughs> That's why my eyes look so tired is I don't have, like, it looks like I'm not wearing mascara. No, I have no eyelashes. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how I know it's time to take a break and uh, recharge because I have no eyelashes. Fun fact about me. See, I'm as neurotic as the rest of them. Anyway, uh, that's it. Now, what else is going on? Check out, uh, if you're free on Friday morning, I do my virtual newsletter when I remember. <laughs> 10 o'clock, we have coffee, and I just tell you all the things that are going on in Stampin' Up! World. Saturday, I've got one spot left. If you're in Edmonton and you'd like to come to my rain boot class, uh, $35, just come and make, you get the tin. Um, we're making four cards and the flower, the flower seed packet, and I'd like to get that one spot filled so I can have as many ladies in my garage as possible. Um, other than that, I should see you, Monday's a holiday, but I'll still be here Monday night. I think I'm not going anywhere. So that's it for now. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and we will catch you later. Bye.